Hey guys, Ashley D. Will here, and I'm sitting here today thinking about sacred space. Have you ever thought about sacred space? Well, sacred space is something that's very important to have in your life, and I just wanted to share a few thoughts about sacred space, if that could be of help to you. Now, um, the first thing we want to think of when we think of sacred space is the space inside us. If you're a believer, it is the space where the Holy Spirit of the living God lives and is where you are one spirit with Him. Okay, that's a very sacred space. And that, that space has been carved out by the Lord for Him to abide there. So that's the first place we want to focus when we think about sacred space. That is a sacred space that has been given to us and we are temples of the Holy Spirit, right? We are jars of clay and we carry this around inside of us. So it is our responsibility to maintain that space, to respect that space, not to grieve and quench the Holy Spirit. And when we do, you know, you can say, I'm sorry, help me to have a faster learning curve, okay? Okay, the second place we wanna look when we think about sacred space is um, looking upward in our relationship with the Lord. When you have a relationship with the Lord, there is a sacred space within you where he lives. There's also a sacred space above you that goes straight up to the throne room. And that is a sacred space. We want to keep that space clear and flowing so that we live and move and have our being in him. And when he says left, we step left. When he says right, we step right. When he says stop, we stop. When he says go, we go. When he says speak, we speak. When he says don't speak, we don't speak. Okay, this is alignment. This is alignment with the spirit of the living God. And at this time in history, it is imperative for believers to align themselves with the spirit of God. He is our life source. He is everything to us, okay? So that's the second um, idea on sacred space. The third um thing we could talk about when we when we're thinking about sacred space is the area around us the area around us our bodies our souls that is a sacred space how is that a sacred space well it's sacred because there's always um, space between us and other people and that space is a sacred boundary and so that sacred space keeps you remembering who you are and who you're not, where you begin and where you end, and it helps keep the other person remember that as well. Also, that space keeps you aware of when others could potentially trespass against you, and you can prevent that when you have that sacred space there and you're aware of that space. It also can keep you from trespassing against others right? Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. This sacred space helps you walk in that truth that Christ gave us, okay? It helps you to, it you to, it helps you to prevent uh, yourself from trespassing, and it helps prevent other people from trespassing against you because you have that sacred space there, and it helps you maintain that sacred space between you and other people which keeps you from trespassing against them and them from trespassing against you. So another place where we can have a uh, sacred space is in the time dimension. We've talked about sacred space in the space dimension. Now we can talk about sacred space in the time dimension. Now time is um, something that we're in right now. Our, our spirits aren't in it, but our souls and our bodies are in it. So having margin in your schedule, having um, time, but like if you have different appointments during the day, space them out if you can, or at least give yourself plenty of time to get from one to the other. If you're creating a schedule for your children, don't pack it so closely together that you're stressing out all day. Okay, let the Lord lead you as you plan your schedule. And if your schedule is already hectic, clear the schedule down to nothing and let him rebuild your schedule according to the Holy Spirit. You don't want anything in your schedule that the Lord doesn't have for you. See, that's going to cause problems. 
So you want to create sacred space in your time, which is in your schedule. You want to give yourself time to breathe, to be alone, to take a hot bath, to go exercise or whatever you do to feel better. You want to incorporate that into your schedule. So time is a very important place where we definitely want sacred space. And then the last place we want to have sacred space is in our future. We want to uh, carve that sacred space out into the future so that we are agreeing with God that it is his agenda that will prevail in our lives. And we are letting go of anything that will interfere with that. And so carving out sacred space into your future clears the way for you to do God's will. And it frees you from wrestling with your own agenda and wrestling with other people's agenda. Those agendas don't matter. They lead to nothingness. So into your future, the future path, whatever lies ahead for you and whatever that may look like, clearing sacred space in that area as well as important in your life. Okay, so let's review the different places where we want to have sacred space. Inside of us, we want to have sacred space. We want to have it upward. Sacred space going vertically because that is our connection with the Lord. We want to have sacred space around us because that is a sacred boundary. We want to have sacred space in our time, margin, and room to breathe, and... Uh, as the world accelerates in its stressful way, we can do just the opposite. And we can refuse to walk in that chaos. And the last place is in our future. Okay, so clearing out sacred space in all these places can really help you. can help you to have an easier life. It will cause you to feel and experientially that you are set apart for the Lord. It will lower your, lower your um, blood pressure. For one thing, it will improve your relationships and it will cause you to be able to internalize, personalize and internalize the scriptures at a deeper level. Okay, so a quick post on sacred space. I hope this is helpful and I hope that you will prayerfully uh, consider making more space that is sacred in your life, in your heart, in your time so that you can more honor the Lord. Okay, you guys have a great day.